In this Kotlin on Android development tutorial, we're going to show you how to create a thumbnail from a video, but not just any ordinary thumbnail, a rounded thumbnail. Welcome to Mobile Application Tutorials, my name's Nigel. Okay, so in the previous episode, we actually reco successfully recorded a video clip, and we just saved that to the uh, internal memory of the application itself, so it's only accessible from the application. In this video, we're going to generate a thumbnail, a round thumbnail from that video, and then we'll display that in our thumbnail icon. Okay, so currently let's have a look here. We're in episode number four, the round thumbnail. The pre previous episode is doing the actual camera capture itself. There's still a couple more and there will be more premium tutorials added to the end of this as well. So if you do want to get hold of the remaining episodes that haven't yet been published on YouTube, you can get them for a one-off fee of 10 US dollars if you're uh, an impatient person like me. And you can actually start this tutorial directly. You don't have to do the prior episodes that's recommended. But if you just want to learn how to create a round thumbnail from a video, you can actually pull down the code from Git. And the details will be going into this article when it gets published. And if you do pay for the camera, a Kotlin Camera 2 API product, um, the members there do get a video on telling you how you can get the code from Git and how you can install it and get it running on the project prior to starting this tutorial. And at the end of the tutorial, you also get another helper video showing you how you can get the code changes. Anyway, so we will make a start. So we'll go across to our Android Studio. Okay, and I'm just going to go somewhere towards the bottom. You can do this anywhere. Um, I'll just go below the stop chronometer function. So first of all, we have to create a function just to create a normal thumbnail from the video. And the default dimensions will be a square thumbnail. So I'll create a function, make a private function. And I'll just call it create video thumb. Okay, we're using the Kotlin function notation here, so we're just going to actually be able to just return the bitmap containing our thumbnail. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll call the, uh, what we get given here is a thumbnail utilities function, thumbnail utils, so we can utilize that. Call the create video thumbnail method inside that. And then it's a matter of providing the current video file path, and we set that up and I I think it was our media store um, episode in a prior episode and then it's a matter of setting the kind so this is specifies basically the dimensions the size of the thumbnail we're going to generate and we get that from the media store we need to call video thumbnails and we've got two here, mini kind and micro kind. I'm going to use micro kind because that actually generates a square image. And to generate a round image, you do need to generate it from a square image. Okay, so that's fine for that. We've now created our video um, thumbnail. And now we're going to actually convert it to a round thumbnail. So I'll create another function for that. And I'll call it create round thumb and this is actually going to return a, a what's called a rounded bitmap drawable type okay so it's returning that so I need to create a value here for the drawable and I call it drawable and I need to call the rounded bitmap drawable factory method here and call create and we can pass in resource oh, oh. We can pass in resources. And then the second argument's actually going to be our thumbnail that we've created. And to get that, we can just call create video thumb. So that will return us with the original thumbnail. Okay, there's a few little, we'll 
a couple more things we need to do here. So we need to call our drawable here again and is circular. We need to set that flag to true to disinstruct the um, factory, the rounded bitmap drawable factory that we want it to be drawable. And then we can just a matter of returning the drawable. Okay, so we've got the two functions in place to generate our round thumbnail from the video. Now we just need to call it. And so we'll, we'll call it, we'll generate it after it's finished capturing a video. So if we call stop record session. So in the previous tutorial, we created a function just to stop the record session. And we'll do it right at the very bottom there. And basically we need to first of all call our we're basically going to set that thumbnail image to our um, thumb we've got a thumbnail icon on the actual application itself and that's called thumbnail button and now we can set the image drawable and now we can pass into it our rounded drawable by calling create round thumb Okay, so this was going to be a short tutorial, but let's run this and actually see if we can generate that round thumbnail. So the application has successfully started. I'm just going to press the record button. Just do a quick record, stop that. And if I put it across there, you can see on the right hand side that was successfully generated a round thumbnail. Okay, this is just a short tutorial and it's this particular tutorial can be uh, used by anyone who just wants to generate a thumbnail or a round thumbnail from a video file. So we saw that there was just a couple of calls we had to focus on. The thumbnail utils gives us the access to create a thumbnail. And we decided to get a re uh, square thumbnail because if you want to make a round thumbnail, you need to generate a square thumbnail. So we used the media store settings for that. And then it was a matter of using the rounded bitmap factory uh, drawable to generate our round thumb and a thumbnail we had to select is selected is, is, is rounded equals to true as well just to ensure that that round thumbnail is generated and then it was just a simple matter at the very end of this tutorial just to um, set our, um, th our thumbnail button with that rounded thumbnail, which we did when we stopped the recording session. Anyway, so that concludes this episode. If you do want to get notified of my tutorials on YouTube, don't forget to click that subscribe button along with the bell icon. And um, I'm extremely busy, so you probably notice that I don't respond to uh, technical questions on YouTube. But if you do want to get my time, I do make an avenue available where I provide um, paid consultancy support at Code Mentor above that and please note that it is paid consultancy and also I do um, do all my announcements and updates on Twitter and Facebook as well and there's a handle above for that as well anyway thank you for taking the time for watching this bye for now